going on guys? I thought I would do a video doing my own kind of testing of the lateral edge stability of the Rex 45 Paramilitary 2. And just to show, this is on a medium Spider Coast stone. And uh, on these charts, I'm actually get my angle goes. So, <clears throat> I'm going to do two tests for bamboo skewers, which is an interesting way to do it. I've done it before with, I think it was ZDP-189. I haven't done this test for a while. But I will use the heel portion of the blade to do cuts through the bamboo skewer. Bamboo is really pretty tough. It resists clean cuts through it because of its fibrous nature um so we'll see like how the edge holds up doing that and then i'll do sideways through the upper belly portion i'm trying to see how i'll get to cutting probably something like this so we'll just start uh, another thing i might need a different cutting board <laughs> Another thing is that it's actually incredibly hard to push cut through bamboo because of how tough it is. See, it takes a two handed push to even get through it. <laughs> so, this is a good test for hot spots and also how your lock holds up. So I'm doing the cuts right in the same spot, like right here, underneath the hole. We'll just do like 10 or so. Almost need a different cutting board. I might get a different cutting board fix, sorry. I got another one right here. This should make it a little easier. So, like I said in one of my other videos, if you haven't watched it, this reminds me a lot of M4. Which, composition-wise, other than cobalt, it's pretty much identical to M4. Um... I'm fairly handy with steel, but somebody said that the cobalt really wouldn't make a lot of difference for the... ...in the steel as far as a knife blade because it's for high heat hardness, which... I don't know, unless you're... ...cutting molten things... Because your plate's never going to be red hot. So, so far with those, I see zero edge damage. Let's see. Again, this isn't a high polished edge, so push cuts I can kind of get, but it's not as ideal. Just because of the finish. Sorry, I have a hard time doing this and talking, and I'm a little rusty at videos. Um, it feels like maybe it's not slicing quite as easily as it was in the portion. Of, I mean, again, when I go like how I did my initial cut with the paper, it's fine. So we'll just finish cutting this entire skewer, same portion of the blade. If you want to test an edge geometry just for cutting ability, bamboo skewers are a great way 
like I already said, um, just because I found a lot of edges that come in over 20 thousandths thick, generally have a really hard time push cutting. Because I'm putting a fair amount of force, and if I had a scale, I'm not really sure. Probably be a good 40 pounds, maybe close to 60. There's still zero visible edge deformation. That's a good sign. When I cut that hard plastic on one of my first tests, it just instantly rolled the edge. And if you didn't watch my other video, I thought maybe the edge was a little overheated. So I re sharpened it. Uh, well, I took away the factory edge and just did my own reprofile loop. So. Still catching fine. The edge is definitely like duller, but I don't see any actual damage. I can't see any edge glistening at all. It certainly lost some of its like razor hair popping sharpness, but it'll still kind of catch hairs in contrast. Like, yeah, the belly portion still catches hair, no problem. So, let's do the belly portion now. So, all that cutting for the push cuts was all through here, and I'm gonna do the sideways scraping all up in the tip. And just to show the tip sharpness. Okay, so no problem. This can be a little rough on the ears sometimes. This one's not too bad. I had a knife one time, it squeaked like crazy. Yeah, that so far acts like it hasn't done anything. And I'm going all the way across, all the way to the tip. Also, another thing that sometimes in these kind of tests, people start the edge behind where the the testing is going, and so a sharp part of the edge catches it. And I found a fairly dull knife can still kind of look like it's finishing out. Show you how much we're like chewing into the bamboo skewer. I don't know how well you can see that. Cons almost all the way through it. Still has a lot of bite. I'd say the sharpness may just a scotch lower, but it's having no issues still slicing newspaper. So it seems like those push cuts were. A little more impactful to the edge. 
again I can show you, step back a little bit, through here is where the push cuts are happening. It'll still catch and slice newspaper. You can see where it catches a little more, but then in where we did the other lateral testing, no problems. Uh, that's pretty impressive. I remember last time when I tested some CDP 189, it didn't hold up that well. And there's still no motion in the lock. Totally smooth. That's pretty impressive to me. Um, I mean, because we're normally not cutting stuff that's as tough as bamboo. Like cardboard is normally what most people top out at. And if you're doing woodworking with a folder, I don't see that being very common either. So, all right, guys. Um, I'll probably, I might try a corrosion test like I did with that crew wear. Um, but so far, I'm really liking Rex 145. I don't think I would necessarily pay a price dump over M4, but I was able to get mine for, you know, just the regular cost. So, um, all right, as always, guys, thanks for watching.